Why the heck are cigars so expensive? This is a question that we see quite a lot, especially for people that are new to cigar smoking as a hobby. They look at the prices in the shop and online. They're saying, how the heck can you justify charging this much for essentially some leaves? We're going to break that down in this video. My name is Alex from The Cigar Guys, and the topic of this video is why are cigar prices pretty pricey? So when we say a cigar is expensive, generally speaking, someone is referring to the fact that, let's say, this cigar on the shelf with a band is going to be, uh, I don't know, let's say 15 bucks. That's like the new average right now after inflation and rise of cost, everything like that. Average $15 cigar, you get some that are 10, you get some that are 20. Of course, there's some that are a lot more, but that's what we're talking about right now. So we're going to start at that baseline. What makes your average cigar in the $10, $15 price range, what justifies the cost essentially? The first thing we're going to talk about right off the bat is the process for making just one cigar. First of all, cigars are a handmade product. They are obviously tobacco is grown from the ground. So we start with the seed, then we have to wait for the plant to grow, and these plants grow very tall. Then we take that plant when it gets to the right color, the right, the correct ripeness, so to say, and we take all the leaves off, and then we have to look at the leaves and make sure that they're of good quality. Sometimes the leaves are not of good quality, and when you make a high-quality cigar, you want to use the best quality leaves. Some of those leaves are going to be used for the filler, some of them are going to be used for the binder, and some of them will be used for the wrapper. The wrapper leaves are going to be the most high quality, the most firm. Uh, they're able to stretch without breaking. Uh, that way they, the cigar rollers can get that wrapper rolled onto the cigar without having any damage. All right, so we've got all the leaves. The roller has basically done the process to make this cigar. And of course, premium cigars are not made by machine. So there's no way we can speed up this process. It's all going to be done by hand. As soon as you have a machine involved in making a cigar, it is no longer a premium cigar. So we have the cigar now, and there's a few other factors we can add on to the process in order for the price to go up. And that would be either aging the tobacco or aging the cigars themselves. A lot of times when you have the tobacco, after it's been fermented and everything like that, a lot of uh, companies would like to age that tobacco for a period of time, sometimes years, in order to have a smoothness and a richness that will contribute to the experience of smoking the cigar. So obviously you're adding more time on there, you're adding more years, and as time goes on, it does cost money to actually let the tobacco leaves sit there and age for a period of time. You have to pay people to maintain it and make sure that that place stays humid at the right humidity. They have to make sure that there's no cigar beetles or pests or anything like that trying to get into the tobacco. So it does cost money to basically let the tobacco sit there and age in the barn, wherever they have it. And then sometimes too, once they have the cigar rolled, they will age the cigar itself for another year or two or five years, however long they want to, uh, to get that specific experience that smoothness that richness that the maker is going for so you've added more time and essentially more labor onto the process which will increase the price again then of course all these things being said if you make a cigar with high quality tobacco meaning the tobacco is either hard to get or it's very um sought after or it has a unique characteristic that most tobaccos don't that's going to have a higher cost into it because if I have a farm, let's say in Nicaragua and I want to use a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper for my cigar, I can't grow a Connecticut broadleaf in Nicaragua because that would only be able to be grown in Connecticut. I can grow like a Nicaraguan broadleaf, but the Connecticut broadleaf is a very special wrapper that's sought after and it can only be grown in Connecticut. So I have to outsource that now. It's also a very hard leaf to, to grow. Um, in order to meet the standard, it's very hard for the Connecticut broadleaf to meet that standard of leaf that everyone's going after. 
So now the price has increased again. So outsourcing quality, all this stuff is going to have an effect on the overall cost of your cigar. We also have the aspect of how limited is the production. Um, most cigar brands that you've seen out there, for example, Punch Cigars, they've been around for a very long time. They have a huge uh, core line of cigars, so they're able to produce hundreds of thousands, millions of these cigars over time. There's no limited uh, quantity, so they could charge for this cigar, they could charge four or five bucks. But now if Punch makes a limited edition cigar, they were only able to make, let's say, 5,000 boxes of this specific cigar, they're going to charge a little bit more because it's a limited run. Once they run out, it's gone. So they're able to charge a little more. That's just in business in general, you have something that's limited, you're able to charge more because people want it enough, they're going to pay that premium for it. We also got to think about taxes, import taxes. The best example I like to use is when it comes to Cuban cigars over in Europe, you go to places like Spain, for example, let's use Spain as an example, and you buy a Cuban cigar that's $20 over there. If you go to the UK, especially in London, that cigar is going to be probably around 35, 40 bucks, mainly because of the import tax laws. The laws are different in each country. So some countries are going to be cheaper than others. Even in the United States, from state to state, your uh, state and county taxes could affect the price of the cigar when you're buying it at a lounge. In Florida, we don't have a tobacco tax. So when we go to a cigar lounge, they're allowed to charge the retail price. If you go to a state like New York, for example, they'll probably be charging 50% more, or sometimes even 100% more just because they're paying so much in taxes. And one of the last factors that we're going to talk about is the brand and the prestige um, for example, some brands such as Davidoff have been able to gain a status of luxury and exclusivity, which allows them to charge more money and people are still going to buy the cigars because they know the Davidoff brand. They know that it means, you know, luxury, elegance, stuff like that. People are just willing to pay more. At the end of the day too, a lot of this business, the cigar business, at the end of the day, it is marketing the bands, the boxes, the story behind it. A lot of brands will use all these things to then justify maybe a higher price point than would be expected of just this cigar. This cigar right here, $5 cigar, just because it's got you know no band on it. It's got a different wrappers on it, okay, cool, whatever. But I could put a nice, luxurious looking band on there. And I could say that the cigar is a limited edition. It only ha we only have 5,000 boxes and put a nice story behind it. People all of a sudden are going to pay $20 for it because I added some hype to it. So that's a big part of the cigar industry as well. So in a nutshell, that is a very condensed version of why cigars are seen as very expensive. Average $15 and sometimes crazy ones. 500 to a thousand dollars depending on the situation that's about it i wanted to thank you guys for tuning into this video by the cigar guys make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated when we upload new videos like this we also do cigar review videos podcast episodes every single week and we also have social media content for you to check out link in the description but thanks again for tuning in we'll see you next time